So this week we're going to talk about uh, the proper way to take divots on the range. Something that I notice a lot about out here that not all members are aware of is how we take divots. As we can see over here, we have a very scattered divot pattern here, which isn't good because the next player that comes out here has to then sand those divots and we don't get a consistent line. So next, I'm going to show you how to take a proper divot on the driving range. So first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm starting as close to the bucket as possible. The reason for that is I don't want to start out in the middle and then keep all this grass unused because the next person that comes out here is then going to have to stand in the divots I just made. So I want to come out, you can see I already made a divot, straight line coming back. The next divot line I want to start is going to be about a club length away, just next to it, parallel. We want to keep that space in between instead of having a giant patch of grass removed because it allows the grass to grow back uh, much faster. So I got my ball set up behind my next divot line. I'm gonna line it up, make my swing. All right, now from here, I'm gonna do the same process and just keep repeating. Ball's gonna go back, uh, excuse me, behind my previous divot. I'm gonna continue hitting till I get that parallel line, till I get close to our, you know, our rope when it is here. And then again, I'm gonna move one club length over and continue that process. That's the proper way to take a divot on the driving range.